So I went to make this video, uh, the vlog number three, um, and between between trying to stay organized and you know through my videos and photos and different things that I'm kind of using this camera for, I lost my footage uh, for the first half of this video. So I'm here. There were three things, three things I got, <laughs> two things I got to touch on uh, to replace that. Now the third I'm going to hit up really quick. So first, um, there was just going to be an unboxing video um, of this, which I'll get to in a second. Um, number two, uh, <laughs> when I was filming this, uh, when I was filming the video, um, I had just I had just lost my job. I was just let go um, due to objective COVID-related cuts. That makes things very interesting. Um, for obviously my family and I, so um, puts us in an interesting spot. But I uh, know God's got us, so I think we're, we're, we'll be okay. We'll figure that out. Number three, if you if if you're looking at um, these published dates of these videos and noticing, hey, like these are kind of spaced out. Like this can't be right. Yeah, um, I, I've I've tried. Um, just to keep going with with some of this YouTube stuff, it is it's been difficult. Um, we just had our third child. Like, there's a lot going on. This side projects don't really fall high on the list of priorities sometimes. So, over the past few weeks, past couple months, whatever it's been, um, a slow, tiny steps moving forward, moving forward, small, slow steps. I've told myself, just do not stop. Do not stop do not stop and i'm not going to stop it's not going to be perfect the whole point of this video this this vlog was to say hey guess what i got my guitar um this will be this will be um the guitar that we do all of uh, the gear reviews and playthroughs with this is a 2017 epiphone les paul standard in the cardinal red, um, I found it on Reverb for um, shipped for like 400 bucks, so it was about 350 with um, or 360 or so, 40 dollars in shipping with a hard shell case. Um, it's again 2017. It's been played, uh, not abused, so it's not perfect, but it's but it is perfect for for what it needs to be. So this so this will be the guitar that we do all, that I do all the demos with. All of the gear playthroughs will be with this guitar through the Blues Junior um, that was in the last video. And the reason I the reason I went with the Les Paul standard is that um, the Les Paul itself um, is very flexible, right? So you can you know from blues players to um, you know rock, heavy rock, like all that stuff. I won't quite say metal. You can get some heavy tones out of out of uh, the Les Pauls, but um, not quite the modern modern metal tones, but. Um, it's just a super flexible um, guitar, and uh, you know, for for the price, I mean, with these this um, this 2017 is is made in China, and I and it's really kind of impressed me. I've played it enough to, um, it's it's impressed me really. Like it's been, I you know, I played it live. It it felt good. Um, it sounds really good. <laughs> And it plays really well for you know for a guitar that's 300 that was 350 bucks um, as far as a, even a beginner but like intermediate and, and experienced players can pick up something like this cheap and just have it to beat up on it and it plays great and it's awesome and I and this is why um, and that's why I I kind of picked I picked this to do the demos with because it's affordable it sounds good and it plays good I mean. It, what else? What else is there to do? The rest of the videos, <laughs> the rest of the video is all gonna be um, just footage from after I got it, just setting it up, new strings, all that stuff that you would typically do after you purchase a guitar off of Reverb or online or whatever. So um, enjoy that. Uh, you'll get to hear how it sounds through the Blues Junior after that, which is um, also fun and exciting. And then um, as we finish up. I'm hoping I can uh, do the next video shortly, which is going to be putting together a set down here somewhere in 
my kind of grungy basement. But it's totally gonna work and it's totally gonna be awesome. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys enjoy the final footage. So roll it. So um, we got, I got the guitar cleaned up, um, fresh set of strings, neck relief was good, action felt good, uh, so it didn't do much except for polish the frets up with some steel wool, clean that fretboard with um, you know some lemon oil, standard stuff, kind of wipe some things off, polish some things here and there, a um, little bit of graphite at the nut, clean the jack, clean the, just clean the pickup selector with some contact cleaner and um, just make sure everything was tight and um, strung it up, intonated it and you know we'll see how it goes so um, this will be my first chance getting to plug it into uh, the Blues Junior and actually getting to turn the Blues Junior up and you get to hear what it sounds like so uh, here we go <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I did not expect some of those sounds out of that Blues Junior at all. And that was kind of fun and a little bit more exciting than I thought it was going to be. So um, I'm pretty happy. Uh, Epiphone Les Paul, man, it sounds, it sounds good. Uh, the Blues Junior sounds good. I think we got a good combo here, so this should work out. Again, it was the first time I was able to like really plug into an amp like this and kind of play it, crank it up, and, and all that stuff. So what else? Ordered a couple things off Amazon, uh, like a tripod and a, I got the Shure SM57 off of Reverb. I can check in those things off the list. We're getting there. So, sweet. We'll see you guys soon.